The big push today is to have USB-C charging capabilities on all of your HT radios. And I think that's a great thing. I think that you are going to see more HT radios in the ham radio space come along and have the ability to charge via USB-C. But in the case of a Yaesu H2, you don't need it. You don't need USB-C charging. Although I have a really cool battery here that allows me to charge via USB-C. So now I can charge it two ways. Let's check this out. All right, so how many of you have a BioNO battery, a battery box? The battery boxes from Gigaparts are on sale right now. You can find the link in the description below for $20 off for their holiday sale. And then you can save an additional 5% with the code of KC5HWB. But regardless of what battery box you have, you have power poles probably on that battery box. And guess what? All of these Yaesu HTs, and I'm going to show you here in just a minute, all of these are 12 volt chargeable. Now you can't say that for everything, okay? The some of the ICOMs are, and I've got another HT here that's 12 volt chargeable that you probably don't know about. So we're gonna see if it's Big Brother that's about to be released as, as well. But a lot of the Chinese GMRS radios, a lot of the Chinese ham radio HTs have USB-C charging on them, but they're not necessarily 12 volt chargeable. They're rated in watts. You have a 35 watt PD charger, a 65 watt, 100 watt PD charger. Some of the larger PD chargers will allow you to charge laptops, things as big as laptops. My Dell laptop will charge via USB-C, but it has to have a PD port that's, I think, at least 90 watts or better, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's 90 watts. I've tried it on a 65 watt and it doesn't seem to like that. So you can charge via a lot of stuff via USB-C, but what can you charge via 12 volt? I really think the 12 volt world is nice because you can charge a lot of times directly from a power station, anything with an Anderson power poles directly from a BioNO battery, which has built in power poles on them. I've taken some of my Miati batteries and added cables and power poles to them and then heat shrink them so that they, they kind of look like a BioNO. Most of your battery boxes have power poles on them. So I'm gonna show you today how I charge my Yezu HTs. Okay, I have, this is my, for, well, first of all, first of all, because I wanna show you this really cool battery from W0AEZ, Kevin. And he sent me an email about this. Now you have probably seen some more videos about this on YouTube. Uh, KDMRD did one, I think uh, TO did one. One or two other people have done it. I think maybe Ham Radio Crusader did one, I'm not sure. W0AEZ makes this expanded battery pack right here and it has a USB-C port on the bottom of it, and it will charge via USB-C. And it's, it's also a larger battery. This is a 5 amp battery, 5,000 milliamp battery, or 5 amp. It's, it's listed on his website at 5 amps. So he's got, I think, a couple of 18650s in here, and he's got them wired in such a way that they will take a USB-C charge. Let me move that over, sorry. A USB-C charge right here, and then it just fits perfectly on the back of your Yezu radio, of your FT5. Now, it's made for the FT5, but the FT3, my FT3 is right here, okay? The FT3, it's, you can see how much bigger it is than the FT3 battery. So it's larger, it's a little bit heavier, but it lasts a lot longer and it's USB-C capable. Now, my question is, do you really need that? And, and yes, yes, I mean... I highly suggest going out and getting one of Kevin's batteries. I'll share the link in the description below. He asked me to make a video after I bought this battery from him. And I said, I will, as soon as you have stock replenished. So he's replenishing stock for you guys right about the time this video drops. We're kind of coordinating together with that. So check the link in the description below and go check out his web store for these uh, really awesome batteries. He's working on a couple. I told him he needed to make a battery for the Anytone radios. And he's working on, I think he's working on one for some other radio right now. Which one is it? I can't remember which one it is right now. Uh, maybe the ID52? I can't recall. But he's working on another uh, video for, for other things right now, for other radios right now. So with the case of Yezu, these guys right here, so the Yezu radios, this is my FT5, FT3, this is my FT1, I still have my original FT1 dual band, the very first YSF, Yezu System Fusion dual band HT, and it still works, it still works there. The only thing I never really liked about this specific radio is that when you turn on APRS, it drains the battery very quickly. So the APRS stuff was a little bit useless on that just because it would, would drain so fast but now with the with the larger batteries these batteries are all the same form factor i can take this battery off of the ft1 i don't have an ft2 the ft2 would work as well 
or an FT3, and I could put this FT5 battery on it because all of these batteries are interchangeable. The VX6R, which is one of my favorite HTs really, um, is a different form factor, so it won't take the batteries from the, the other three that we talked about, the YSF radios, but it is still 12 volt chargeable. I use the same plug to charge all of these. And this, uh, this guy right here, I should have included this radio in my best HT of 2023 video. Um, that was a mistake on my part. A lot of you came by the comments and said, what about the VX6R? I really like this this radio. It's tri-band, 2 meters, 220 and 440. It's made by Yezu, so it's really solid. And like I said, it's 12 volt chargeable. That's what we're talking about today. It's got a couple of uh, siblings, I would call them. The VX8R, which I don't think is made anymore, which includes 6 meters, if I'm not mistaken. And then the uh, the VX, I think there's a VX4R. Or there's a, I think there's another model that's in the VX series of radios. Presumably... If it's like this one, then it will charge via 12 volts also, but I'm not 100% certain on that. I just know that this one will absolutely charge via 12 volts. So this cable right here, these are those cables that I got on Amazon. I've got like four or five of these things. I put one in my battery box. I put one in my go kit. I put one, I've got a little um, EDC go kit for my FT5 that has a charging brick and my open spot for pro and some, some USB cables and whatnot I'm doing a video about that later. But these guys, I, I picked these guys up on Amazon. I'll share a link in the description below. You can check that out, but they come with bare wires on the end. They come with this Yezu plug on one end with the yellow tip on it fits perfectly into the Yezu HT radios. And then it comes with bare wires on the other end. So of course we just put power poles on it. If I plug it into the box over here, and then this is my custom made KI5 GNL. He made this box for me. Custom made battery box for POTA. It's really cool. He does not make them commercially. I tried to get him to, he didn't want to. He's like, no, nah, I don't, I don't want to spend the time on doing that. I'm like, all right, that's fine. <laughs> We've got that plugged in there. Turn the box on right there. And you could see on the screen when it came up, it said 12.5 volts. So it is now charging via 12.5 volts, and it's too hard to see in the camera right there, but it does have a battery charging indicator on the screen right now. So we've got that one, same cable here. I'll take this over here and put this into my FT5, turn that on. This is with the big uh, W0AEZ battery on it. And all of these uh, YSF radios, when you plug in a charging cable to it, it, it flashes just like that. It kind of, it almost like it, like it reboots itself. So you can, I don't know if you can see that in the screen or not. It's probably too small. I'll get a, I'll get a close up picture of it. It's got a charging symbol over the top of the battery right now. And if I unplug it, it'll flash again and comes up and it's got no charging symbol over the top of the, oh, oh that battery's low. <laughs> I haven't charged that battery in a while. Okay, so there's the FT5. The FT3 is right here. Same thing with that. Comes up with the charging symbol on the top. Okay, that one doesn't have a charging symbol on it, but it says right here. It's been a long time since I used this FT3. I love this radio. I need to make a man pack for it and take it uh, with me sometimes. But it, right there it says EXT for external, and it says 12.5. It's flashing between like 12.5, 12.6 volts right now. So if I unplug it, it'll come back up. And it has the battery uh, charge or the battery level symbol at the top left of the screen, like the FT5 does. That battery is full. I recently charged that one, so we'll set that one aside. And then the FT1. How many of you still have an FT1? Does anyone still use this radio? I would like to hear if you still have. I don't see these much anymore. Just like that, it reflashed and it comes up, and uh, the screen is kind of dim on that one, but it does have a battery level indicator in the top left, and it says that it is charging. So that's the FT1. So, in other words, in short, you don't really need USB-C charging if you're carrying a battery box around with you uh, places, which I most, I've got so many battery boxes these days. I've got the Gigaparts box, I've got the Auto Dunk box from Amazon. I got a new Red Odo box that I'm currently working on a new, new video for. I have this guy right here, which I haven't taken out in a while, but I, I, I use it at home period, uh, pretty regularly. If you're just carrying an HT around, and you don't have like a radio or a battery box or something with you, then highly recommend this battery from W0AEZ with the USB-C port on the bottom of it, the way that Yezu should have done it in the first place. But I got to give my hats off to Yezu because having a 12 volt chargeable anything is awesome these days. 12 volt chargeable HTs, 12 volt chargeable laptops like that Evolve Maestro that's on Amazon, 12 volt chargeable flashlights, 12 volt chargeable anything. You're going camping, you're going to have 12 volts with you, you're going to take a battery box, it's awesome to be able to plug everything into the same spot. So having a 12 volt chargeable system is is really good, and I really think that that is, I think Yezu did that correctly, especially since it's the same cable, the same barrel connection, 
and the and on the on the YSF series radios, the Fusion radios, the FT series radios, it's all the same battery. So you can interchange the batteries. You can enter. You can charge them all with the same cable, and they all charge via 12 volts. What is wrong with that? Nothing. There's nothing in the world wrong with that. So I really like that. In fact, the honorable mention that I was going to mention to you is this right here. Now, before I tell you about this radio, I want to mention the fact that this video is sponsored by Mezzi and Plumy Coax. A lot of the items you see here I got from the Gigaparts website. Mezzi and Plumy Coax is great for taking, also taking into the field. We're talking about POTA here. We're talking about using battery boxes and whatnot. And you can always save a 10% discount at the link in the description below with the coupon code of HR2Cables at Gigaparts. So shop Gigaparts for anything Mezzi and Plumy and tell them at Ham Radio 2.0 sent you. Now this one here, this is the honorable mention I was talking about. This is my D74. And I really, 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 really like this radio. This is this one will charge via micro USB. And the D75 that we're going to see early next year, next year will charge via USB-C. We saw a display of that. And we got an interview from Kenwood at Dayton Hamvention of 2023. So they did confirm that it will charge via USB-C on the new model. So I, I'm going to pick one of those up as soon as it's readily available. But if you look at this right here, that says right there on the charging port, the cover of the charging port, it says DCN. 13.8 volts so the d74 will also charge now this radio is out of production and when they just dis got discontinued from kenwood people started selling them for astronomical prices um i've seen i think i paid about 500 dollars for this radio when it was brand new and i saw them go for twice that on ebay shortly after they were discontinued so if you got one hang on to it but here's the thing what i did i took my kenwood this is the the proprietary kenwood uh charging port that came comes with it this barrel connector here is slightly different than the Yezu barrel connector. I tried to put it into a Yezu radio. It doesn't really fit. I wasn't going to force it. But what I did was I cut that cable and I put power poles on this end so that I could use the AC plug. And I put power poles on this end. If you read on this right here, it says the output The output right here is 13.8 volt DC, VDC, volts uh, direct current, at about 0 0.6 amps. Okay, so about half an amp. Okay, so that means... It'll charge via 12 or 13 volts. So if I plug this in to the battery, again, this is the cable that I just cut. I cut the I cut the end of it off and I put power poles on that side right there. So now I can plug this in to the D74, and it's dead. It's it, I haven't I haven't used this radio in a while. There you go. There's a charging indicator on the screen right there. It says it is charging. I can boot it up, and there it goes. So again, this one will charge via micro USB, which is usually how I charge it, honestly, because I have micro USB cables that are left over from stuff I used to use. It is a lot, USB charging, USB-C charging is much, much faster, especially if you get a PD-65 or a PD-90 or 100 or something like that. It'll charge much faster than micro USB does, but charging this via 12 volts works really well too. So you can take your Kenwood D74 and its proprietary cable, cut the ends of it off or get a second one if you want to like that do what i did that way that way i can plug this back into the cable and plug it into the wall if i want to do that i take this radio with me when i go to my galveston house because there's a couple of 220 repeaters that i like to use in the area and i just like this radio i use it uh, whenever i can so i'll plug this into the wall and i'll plug a couple of other of these in the wall and then when i go out into the field i plug them into the battery box so you have the best of both worlds there do you think that USB-C charging do you look forward to it? Do you look forward to having all your radios on USB-C charging? I do. I do. I wish that the ham radio manufacturers, I'm going to put it that way, ham radio manufacturers paid more attention to USB-C. We are starting to see that. It is a little late in the game, but USB-C is still the standard, the top of the line standard for charging for smartphones. Android, Samsung has had USB-C charging for years. I think Apple is finally coming around to USB-C. Sorry, Apple guys, but you guys are late to the game once again. A lot of your tablets and iPads and, uh, well, I, I don't know about, I, I think once Apple changes, they'll have iPads in there as well. But a lot of your Samsung tablets, Android tablets, all of the R Finder stuff is USB-C chargeable. So you're going to see a lot more USB-C. The new ID50 from ICOM that just came out is USB-C chargeable. And the D75 from Kenwood that we're going to see early next year is going to is going to be USB-C chargeable, like I said a minute ago. I don't know anything about Yezu right now, but I don't know that I actually care since you can charge Yezu from 12 volts. And these days, I have a battery box with me almost everywhere I go. And if you have a certain power rating on your USB-C device, I've got a couple of charging bricks that will do USB-C 
to 13.8 volts. If you have the correct power distribution rating, not all of them will do that, okay? But if you have the qu correct PD rating on your USB-C device, the PowerFilm Lightsaber Max will do this. You can export USB-C to directly to 12 volts, so you can get a USB-C cable on one end and power poles on the other end, and you can charge radios via that way too. Very cool. Very cool stuff. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you knew this about the Ye about the Yezu HTs. I mentioned this on the live stream like a month ago, and people were in the comments are like, wait a minute, you can charge those via 12 volts? And I'm like, I kind of thought that was common knowledge. Apparently it wasn't, so I decided to make this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below.